All right, folks, God bless you. His purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. Guys, before I do any more videos um, where I'm going to do a data dump, I'm going to do this video tonight where I'm going to give you just the best scriptural handoff that I can give you so you are the most secure in your understanding and that you know Christ. Because when the time that's coming comes, there's only going to be one thing that matters. Do you know him? And Jesus even said in Matthew 7, he said, in that day, many will say to me, Lord, have we not done this? Have we not prophesied, cast out demons, and done many wonderful works in your name? And he will say, depart from me, I never knew you. Okay, so the most important thing in my economy for what I do for the king is to make sure that you know him. Now, I can I have so much data, so much supernatural data. I could just push data over a table in an endless waterfall of jaw dropping just like uh because there's no end to it. There's so much of it. Once you're awake in their system, the whole thing becomes data. I mean, think about it. You were carried away and inverted in their system. So when you wake up and you're you're turned up, you get turned up and you get converted. Jesus said, unless you're converted, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. So unless you get converted. So then you get converted, but you're in a world that you don't even belong to. It's like the craziest thing ever. Why do you think Jesus said, I'm in, you're in the world, but not of the world because you're in it, but you're not of it because you're from heaven. Your angels were angels. And the greatest trick that Satan pulled was to steal your identity and not let you know who you are. Why do you think the Bible says your identity is hidden in Christ? Okay, I'm going to show these scriptures to you today. I'm going to feed you just the meat of the word today. I'm going to give you scriptures that are irrefutable because we're coming to the end of the cycle. And this Elohim thing has taken over the system. They have taken, you know, like Marina Abramovic and Debbie Harry. Y'all know who do the spirit cooking. I've shown you over and over and over again. They're at the Mocha Gala. They have cakes of themselves naked. They, Debbie Harry cuts out her own heart and eats it. I mean, it's called spirit cooking. Now just stop and think. What spirit are you cooking? I mean, just do the mental math. What spirit are you cooking? Well, let's see. Let's look at the word spirit. Let's go to the Bible and let's look at the word spirit. This is really a fresh computer. This is like, at the end of this video, guys, I'm going to have a talk. I'm going to tell you what's going on. I'm going to tell you what's happened to me. I've had some tough, tough days. Um, injured. Uh, one of my children got severely injured. I got injured. My eye was injured. Um, there's a lot going on. Uh, YouTube. I'm going to show you how to find me. If you know, if you go and you're like, where are you? Where are you? I had people coming and posting comments to tell you where to go. I was like, guys, just go read down a few comments. If you come to my site and you're like, go to my last video that's up. All you got to do, if you can't find me, you go to my last video that was posted. And you just start going down comments when people say, where's Johnny? I have people out there that will tell you where to go. I was like, golly, guys. The... <laughs> It's like, let's be a little resourceful. I have four other platforms, four other platforms that you can go to. And I have people checking on my last video and they know, like, go and see if people are like, hey, where's Johnny? And then I'll have one of my friends post a link where you can go, but you just got to go check. Just go look at my last video that's still up. Okay, I've been on a two-week suspension. Anyway, so... 
Okay, so now at the end of this video, I'm going to talk to you guys. And I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to fill you in what's going on, man. It's insane. My world is insane. I mean, I am a target. Target. Look, everybody click. No, it was round. <laughs> Why, some lunatic will take that picture. Oh, look, there's click. He's Illuminati. It's like, okay, sure. You have fun with that. The serpent race, that's all they can do. All they do is make false accusations. They're a bunch of liars. They're a bunch of false accusers. That's what they are. That's what they do. I mean, all you got to do is turn on the TV and just watch. Okay, now let me regroup. Here's what, here's what I'm going to do. At the beginning of this video, I'm going to give you scripture. And I'm going to show you stuff that's going to blow your mind. Let's start with the word spirit. Because what's the goal here? What's what's the goal here in this, this whole thing we're in? Well, to get your soul saved. Because Jesus said, what should it profit a man if he gains the whole world yet loses his soul? So even if you gained the entire world, it would be worth nothing, especially if you lost your soul. So I just got this thing out of the wash and it's a little tight and a little weird. Okay, so let's let's go to the word spirit real quick. Everybody, yeah, it'd be nice if everybody had e sword. Hang on one sec. Let me just do something real quick. Okay, so let's go here to e sword. And I like using Ephesians 2. Now, Ephesians 2 is the scripture that I use when when I say his purpose was to create one new man from the two. See right here. Jesus having abolished in his flesh the enmity. See the word enmity right here? See the word enmity? Do you know that's the same word, enmity? I will put enmity between the seed of the serpent and the seed of the woman. Look, reason for opposition, hatred. So the serpent seed hates the seed of the woman, hates the seed from also Adam. Adam is Christ's representative. I'm going to get into all this. I'm going to give you the, the meat of the word today. So no one will ever be able to fool you. So the most important thing is your soul and do you know Jesus? That's it. So let's cover that base tonight. So you know in your heart, you can lay down tonight and go, wow. Jesus said, you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free and the two will become one and your eyes will be opened and you'll be able to see because he came to restore the sight to the blind and we're all spiritually blind because we've been inverted. And once you get turned up, you're no longer inverted. Your eyes become single and you can see. That's why an image of the Virgin, when you turn it upside down, is a dead sheep because you're the dead sheep. But when you turn it up, you can see. Why is it the virgin? Angels that left their first estate and wanted to be part of this host body system went after the virgin. You know, that's the forbidden fruit. Don't do it. Don't do the flesh thing because the flesh is at odds with the spirit. Okay, here we go. Having abolished, look, having abolished in his flesh. See, because the flesh... The flesh is the enmity of the spirit. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain. Look, what is the word twain? Two. In himself of the two, one new man. So making peace. Peace. To join together. See right here? To join. So to make peace, he joins to be one. Look, it says to be at peace, quietness, rest. Do you know the way you get in that condition? The one that's pointed down gets turned up and the two become one. They're no longer in opposition to each other. They become the same and they join together just like magnets. If you have two magnets that won't push together, I've taken, you know what? I'm going to grab two big magnets. I got two right here. I'm going to show you. Just sit tight. Okay, now watch. Now, 
I'm going to do this, look, right in front of the camera, look, you can, I'm pushing, look, I'm pushing those together, they won't, these won't go together, look, I'm pushing them, pushing, look, can you see the force? Okay, but watch, but now pretend this is inside of you, one's facing up, one's facing down, so these, the energy in these things are just opposed to each other, they won't go together, it's an angel and it's a demon and they're just fighting and they will not go together they will not be at peace but if you invert one bam bam the energy is the same and it comes together now this system this represents your body like your body okay so inside of you is this battle and you cannot come together there's a middle wall of partition there's a there's a chasm between the two the angel and the demon the angel's been inverted and he needs to get turned the other direction and bam the two become one now i'm going to prove it right here in the bible watch this so let me use the bible to show you so having abolished in his flesh why did he do it in his flesh because the flesh is the enemy the serpent created do you see everyone's oh the lord god created man wrong elohim created man in genesis 1 not the lord god the lord god didn't step in till genesis 2 as the plan of salvation for the angels that had made the decision to partake of the forbidden fruit over the course of the entire world now watch i'll prove everything i say to you simply prove it i won't prove it with some long drawn out nonsense i'll go straight to the word and definitively prove it right in front of your face watch ready so here we go having abolished in his flesh see because the flesh it had to be done in the flesh because the flesh is what got you in trouble even the enmity the law and commandments contained in ordinances for to make in himself of the two like the two magnets i just showed you one new man so making peace that he might reconcile both unto god in one body just like those two magnets it by the cross having slain having slain to destroy outright destroy the enmity thereby okay and he came and he preached peace to you which were afar off and them that were nigh for through him now we are i'm sorry now therefore you are no more strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and the household of god built upon the foundation and which is christ is the chief cornerstone now watch now watch this now let's talk about before before you were saved he says so before you were saved you were doing all the wrong things you were you know the lust of the flesh fornication revelry drunken parties i used to do it all guys all of it and then then i got quickened i got saved in that alley and uh here here it says here's what happens and you he hath quickened so now you've been quickened you've been quickened you've been made alive again who were dead in your trespasses and your sins wherein in the time past you walked according to the course of this world see it's the whole world that's your enemy really because the flesh and in the flesh in the world is what destroys you okay when you walked according to the course of this world according to the prince of the power of the air see it right there everybody say it everybody say it when you walked according to the prince of the power of the air the spirit now here's where we're here's where it's i'm going to highlight this a super big bright color super bright green the prince of the power of the air satan the spirit that worketh in the children of disobedience among whom also we had all our conversation in past times in the lust of the flesh fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind and we were by nature children of wrath even as others okay but let's look at the word spirit so we walked according to the course of this world the prince of the power of the air the spirit that works in the children of disobedience so look at the word spirit right here spirit say it 
Numa. Numa. Look at the word number. 4151. I'm going to make it bright green. Okay, Numa. It says a current of air breath. A current of air breath. Okay, now look. By analogy, figuratively, a spirit that is human, that is a rational soul by implication, vital principle, mental disposition, superhuman, an angel, demon. Right there. Watch. Superhuman, an angel, comma, I'm going to make that comma yellow so you see it, an angel, comma, demon. And then you see that little word right there, or or I'm going to make that a different color. So you're either a superhuman, which is an angel, comma, demon. So superhuman, an angel, comma, demon, or divine God, Christ, Spirit, the Holy Spirit. I'll make that bright blue. Watch this. Okay, so who is the spirit that works in the children of disobedience? Is it the Holy Spirit? Or is it a superhuman and angel demon? Which one is it? So let's just cut to the chase. Which one, which one is it? Okay, let me show you one of my folders. Okay, let me just show you a folder real quick. Okay. Okay, so I want you to look. You see this random image right here? See, there's a right side up and an upside down triangle. Think of that as the one's an angel, one's a demon. There's an eye up here, angel of an eye, angel of a demon, or angel of a I'm, I have an angel, I have a demon. So why is Debbie Harry cutting out her own heart out of a twin? Because she's cutting the heart out of the good one. Because she's given herself over to evil. She's saying, hey, you know what? I'm just going to cut the heart out of my twin cake and I'm going to eat it because I've given myself over to the evil one. Simple. Spirit cooking. What spirit's getting cooked? Well, let's see. Okay, you have a superhuman angel demon, right? And so you have this situation and she's like, you know what? I'm going to eat the heart of the good one. So she's doing it kind of the other way. Instead of getting flipped the good way, she's going all in the bad way. Got it? She's ready to go two down. She doesn't want two ups. She wants two down. So she's going to, I'm giving myself over fully and completely to the evil one. I'm going to eat the heart of my own cake that looks just like me because see, we're all in a twin system. See, you're a twin. You have your own evil twin. So when you're willing to give up and you're willing to submit to Christ and say, I'm guilty as charged. I deserve my punishment. Forgive me. Thank you for dying on a cross. Then you ask him to take away your sins and to forgive you. And then you, you surrender your temple also to him. And you invite him to live in you, just like to fully possess you. Oh, so that's what possession is. Yeah. Then he owns you. Get it? So then he's like, oh, okay, now I own you. You're mine. It's pretty simple, really. The churches make it real hard. But, you know, it works the other way, too. So if you want to be fully possessed by Satan, well, you sign a deal with Satan. You just, you just do the opposite. You're like, hey, I want to serve the devil. You give me stuff in this world and I'll uh, I'll serve you. And, you know, there's Debbie Heavy, Debbie Harry, Marina Abramovic. Why do you think the first kids were called Cain and Abel? Cain and Abel were the first two kids, Cain and Abel. Now, let me just take a, so here's a, here's a, a five-pointed star right here, and I put it like a man. Uh, so there's a right side up you, and there's an upside down you. There's the whole system right there. I'm showing you this is a physical representation of the system. There's a right side up you, and there's an upside down you. There's a double you. That's why the double-headed phoenix right here, this is right out of the Catholic Church. I'm going to take this serpent head and slide this green head, and I'm going to put it right there. You see that crown right there? It's really the head of a serpent. It's so uh, that's that crown is a serpent's head. You can see it super easy. See the eye, the eye, the mouth. Okay, and you see how this this ribbon that's DNA. 
This is DNA, and that's a double-headed phoenix. It's a head pointing one way and a head pointing another way, representing male and female energies in one body, and the serpent rules over that because the serpent is the one that came up with that in Genesis 1. Let me show you where that spirit started. So here we go. Genesis 1 and Elohim said, so look, so Elohim, it's not the Lord God. It says Elohim, gods of the supreme God, angels. It's a group, a cumulative sum of angels, gods. Let us make man, it said, created man in his own image. Look at the word image. What is, just say it out loud. Say this word, Selem. Say it out loud. Selem. Read this with me. It says a phantom that is figuratively an illusion. Resemblance, semi, you see the semicolon right there? Resemblance, hence a representative figure, especially an idol. So let's let's just cut to the chase. Do you think the Lord God makes idols? You do? Well, you're crazy then because you haven't read the Bible. He hates idols. As a matter of fact, Exodus 20, the Ten Commandments, says, I am the Lord your God. You shall not make any graven image, which in the word is idol, or any likeness. In the word, I'm going to show it to you in just a minute. The word likeness means embodiment. You know what embodiment is? A body to be inside of. You shall not make those because that's a forbidden fruit. And if you make them, you're in big trouble with the Lord God. So everybody thinks the Ten Commandments is just for people that were here. No, it was, okay, all you angels that did it, let me show you what you did. And this is what put you under the law. Because when you're in the flesh, you're under the law because you're in the flesh. It's a, it's a no-brainer. It's just a no-brainer. Okay, so Elohim created man in his own image. Say it, Selem. Read these words with me. It means to shade, a phantom. That's exactly what it is. That is figuratively an illusion. Resemblance, hence a representative figure, especially an idol, vain show. Okay, so in the image of Elohim created he, him. So see, this is the creation of himself in the system, Elohim. The cumulative sum of who? Satan and his angels. Created he, him. Male and female created he, them. Okay, now let me just show you. You see, the occult, they know a lot more than everybody else. That's why they worship Satan, because... They can see uh, that they run the show and let's see, Tarot Card. Oh, here we go. Oh, tarot Card. Of the... See, they know who runs the show here. They know who runs governments and all that. See, look, here's the Tarot Card of the devil. See the devil? He runs the male and female system. There it is. There it is. Male. I mean, do you... let me ask you a question. Do you think all these tarot cards just happen to have Baphomet, the goat god, with the upside down star representing the angel that got put into the system because a right side up star is an angel, but an upside down star is the sigil of Baphomet. And look, is that why there's these serpents here? Is that why he's got a female on a chain and a male on a chain? Where did that come from? Well, I'll tell you, let's go. Let's go look again. So Elohim created man in his own image. In the image of Elohim created he him. Male and female created he them. Because he runs the flesh system. The flesh system is his. That's why you got to be brought back. And you got to be brought back in the flesh by the king, El, the Almighty God. See, El, the Almighty God that resides in heaven, he came into the system, and when he came into the system, his name was Emmanuel, which means, Imanu means with us is, and then El, the Almighty God. Now, let me, I'm going to prove all that right now. You ready? I'm going to prove everything I just said using the Word of God. 
So no one can argue. Anyone that wants to argue, you're just arguing with the word. I'm going to deliver the word. I just told you. Elohim created male and female. It says it right there. It says Elohim said, let us create man in our own image. In the image of Elohim created he him, himself. Male and female created he them. Those that are in his cash, as the case may be. So see, here it is. It's all here. There's the devil, male and female, devil, male and female, flesh, 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 flesh. Because the flesh is what gets you in trouble. That's what got you in all the trouble was the lusts of the flesh, the deeds of the flesh. That's why El, the Almighty God, had to come in the flesh to buy you back in the flesh because he had to pay for your deeds in the flesh. You had to be bought back in kind. That's why it's such a big deal. That's why if you blow it off, well, then you're in big, big trouble. So now let's go to the Bible. Here we go. Now let's just really nail this down. Let's go to Isaiah 12. Okay, well, you know what? Let's go to Genesis 2 first. So Elohim created man in his own image. Okay, male and female created he him. In the image of Elohim created he him. Male and female created he them. Here's your male and female. Devil runs the system. Okay, that's his little deal. So, you know, you can think whatever you want, but I'm just showing you facts. Now, watch this. Let's go to Genesis 2. And the heavens and the earth were finished, and the host of them. Look at the word host. A mass of persons regularly organized for war and army. So, do you think the Lord God decided, hey, I think I'll just make a bunch of guys prepared for war? <laughs> it's like, no. Well, let's look at... Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, Elohim, see Elohim right here, I'm going to click on it. Elohim, right there, Elohim, re ended his work. Let's look at the word work. Properly deputy ship, employment, but never servile. See, he's independent of the Lord God, but he's the deputy. You know, like I shot the sheriff but I did not shoot the deputy, that song. Well, see, Elohim is the deputy. He did all this work creating a system for him to inhabit with the angels that were willing to be stupid enough to take the bait and do it. And so he gets to be part of their lives all through the history of the world. And they get attached to here comes this plan of salvation. Watch. Let me show you the plan of salvation. Okay, so on the seventh day, Elohim rested and ended his deputy ship. And there you go. So now watch. Now, and every plant of the field grew before, let's see, every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew for the Lord God. Why is the word Lord in front of God right here? For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was not a man to till the ground. Let's look at the word Lord God right here. Look at the word Lord right here. Self-existent eternal Jehovah. See, remember this number, 3068. The self-existent eternal Jehovah. So he's self-existent. He's the eternal Jehovah God. And it's from the primitive root, 1961. Look at a 19, turn it upside down. It's a 61, isn't it? Almost like El and, uh, like, you know, Elohim and, and him. Isn't that to exist? You see it right there, to exist, to be, to become. Okay, so the Lord God, now look at this word formed. To mold into a form as a potter. So this is so important, as a potter. See right there? Say it, as a potter. The Lord God formed man from the dust. Right here, say clay. From the clay. The Lord God formed man. Now, let, I'm going to jump back to Genesis 1, and I'm going to show you this. And Elohim created man. It doesn't say formed. It says created. To absolutely create, and it's to cut down. 
to select as a formative process. See, it's a process, guys. You start with one, and then this comes in. Then what comes in next is the Lord God comes in next. He forms his man, but it doesn't say create. It says he forms him as a potter from the clay now watch this now remember that magnet thing i showed you where i turn i showed you all you got to do is turn that magnet upside down so you can understand what i'm talking about i'm going to go to isaiah 29 i just showed you that the lord god formed man as a potter from the clay now watch this okay woe unto them that seek deep to hide their plant counsel from the lord that's from the self-existent eternal Jehovah. See, from the Lord, 3068, right there, from the Lord. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their plans from the Lord, and their works are in the dark, and they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? Surely you're turning of things upside down. See, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Oh my gosh. I want I'm gonna look ready to look at the word potters. Yatsar as a potter. See, because when you turn things upside down, you're seeing the truth now because in Genesis 1 is where the big bamboozle started was Genesis 1. Hey, we're going to make a host body, guys. Who's in? We're in. We'll go. Oh, let's go. Okay. Oh, I'll put you in when it's, you know, okay. Don't worry. You'll get it. It's a covenant made. It exists because the Lord God let, allows it to exist. It's called free will. Without free will, you can never love God either. You'd be a robot. So anyway, he lets Elohim exist. Elohim says, okay, guys, I can give you all this. Come on, I'm going to form the formative body. All, everyone that wants to go with it ends up getting carried away captive. And then the Lord God comes in with the plan of salvation. And I don't know how he knows who was supposed to get to come back. I don't know how that all works. I know I don't feel like I ever deserved I should get to go back. Not with what I did. But I did cry out. I did say, I am so sorry. I've done so many things I can't fix. And I, I feel truly, truly remorseful. And I wish I could fix them, but I can't. And if I just knew who you were, I'd turn to you. But everyone's got a different version of you. All, all different denominations have a whole different thing. And he showed me who he was. He's the one that turns the world upside down. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as. The word esteemed means, you know, shall be as, you know, esteemed as, regarded as the potter's clay. Genesis 2. The one that the Lord God formed, you know, that has a soul again. You got your soul back. Get it? You got your soul back. Wow. Okay, so now let's keep going. Watch. Here we go. Okay, so surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Look at the word potter. Yatsar. Say it. Yatsar. I'm going to make it yellow. 3335. Three, yellow. Let's go back to Genesis 2 when the Lord God forms his man and the Lord God. Okay, here it is. And the Lord God formed men. See the Lord God. What's the word? Lord self-existent eternal Jehovah. Look at the word formed. Yatsar, same word. See as a potter from the clay. So Genesis one is the serpent race. Genesis two is not the serpent race. Genesis two is the one with the soul where the Lord God breathes into him the breath of life and man becomes a living soul. Watch. And the Lord God formed man from the clay and out of the ground and breathed into him the nostrils of the breath of life and man became a living soul. See it? A living soul. See it? So here's where man has a living soul that has to be bought back that's in the system now. And then it goes in. Now, let me go down here. The first time you're ever going to see this word right here with the capital A, the word for man has all only been man. And the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. See the word man? Hebrew word 120. Right here. Hebrew word 120. I'm going to make it yellow. It means ruddy. That is a human being. Hypocrite. Individual of the man's 
human species. It is not good that man should be alone. I will make for him help to meet meet for him an opposite part opposite. Just think about that for just a minute. And out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto, who's this guy? Adam. Adam. Look at this number right here. I'm going to make it pink. It's always going to be pink. Pink. Hebrew word, 121. Adam, the name of the first man. Oh, wow. So see, now it's got a capital A. And now he's referring to him as Adam. And then he says, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep lethargy by implication a trance deep sleep ready to stun to stupefy with sleep or with death to be fast asleep he caused deep sleep to fall upon adam and he slept and then he i'm sorry wow it just jumped away give me one second genesis 2 oh wow so that says John 2, Genesis 2. There we go. Sorry about that. And he caused deep sleep to come upon Adam. He slept and he took one of his ribs and he closed up the flesh and said thereof. And, and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, he made woman and brought her unto man. Okay, so this has the name Adam. Now watch this. Okay, this is so important. No one, I'm the, this is what the Lord God showed me. No one's ever shown this to anybody before. This is what the Lord God taught me. He taught me how to read the Bible. He taught me everything I know, and I'm going to share it with you. Here we go. It is shown, okay, so it's talking about, you know, the, the human conditions. Okay, so here, it is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. Think of Genesis 1. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown in a natural body, it is raised in a spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. Look right here. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. I'm going to make it. He was made a living soul. But it says the first man, Adam. Now watch this. Well, you know what? Let me keep going. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. And the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Do you know who the last Adam was? Jesus was the last Adam. Now, here you go. That's why he says I'm the first and the last. Watch. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. Where did that happen? In Genesis 2, when the Lord God formed man and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Let's click on Adam. Ready? The first man, Adam. Click. Hebrew word, it's, it's Greek word 76, but it's from Hebrew 121. Adam, the first man of Jesus, man as his representative so genesis 2 and i love you in christ but i don't care what anyone says genesis 2 is the lord god's man breathed into him the breath of life and man became a living soul and that will commingle in genesis 3 with the other race with the serpent race and the fight is on from the beginning to the end of the world and your soul is in this condition from that beginning, this is your condition. And unless you get turned up and you get inverted, you are not converted. I, and now, watch this. Ready? Ready to just freak out? So it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. Click on this. Ready? Adam, the first man of Jesus. Man is his representative. It's from Hebrew word 121. Click on that. Okay, Adam, the name of the first man. Okay, now watch. Let's go to John. Let me show you who Adam, the first Adam really was. Jesus says he's the first and the last. Well, here's the first man, Adam, is Christ's representative. And it says, and the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. So let's go to John. 
the Jonathan Kleck chapter, Jonathan 316. I was born on 316. Here we go, John 3. Watch this. And Jesus said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. See the kingdom of God. Okay, I can show it to you because I'm going to, I've been born again, and all I have to do is turn everything right side up to show it to you. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and the Spirit, the reason water, no clones allowed, and it doesn't matter if you were C-section, that's ridiculous. Water means you're not a clone. Water and the Spirit, look at the word Spirit right here. Remember we saw a spirit in Ephesians 2? But look, it's capital right here. So unless he's born of water and the spirit, look, click on it. See, remember Numa? It it's either a superhuman angel demon. See that little word or right there that's pink right there? See the or or divine God Christ spirit. So Jesus said, unless you're born of the Holy Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of of God. Well, let's look at the name Jesus. That's probably pretty important. Ready? Ready? Jesus. Everyone says, oh, that's Zeus. That's absurd. Those are people that know nothing. They know nothing. And I'm embarrassed for them when they say that nonsense. It's not Zeus. It's Jesus. See it? Jesus. It's Greek. Jesus. And here it is, Jesus. And it's from Yeho. See, I colored it Yeho. Shua, Yehoshua is the is the form that Jesus comes from, and it comes from the Hebrew origin 3091, which is Yehoshua, which means the self-existent eternal Jehovah that saves. See, Yeho, that's that's Jehovah. Yeho, Yeho is Yehova, Yehova. So what? See, Yeho. I'm going to hover over 3068. 3068, Yehovah. Look right there where it says from 1961, the self-existent eternal Jehovah. And then saves. Okay, let's, so watch this. I'll click on 3068. The self-existent eternal Jehovah. Oh, you mean from Genesis 2 that formed Adam, Mr. 1961. That's correct. Now, what about this number Hebrew word 3467, 34, to be open, wide, free, to implication, to be safe, to help, preserve, rescue, be safe, bring salvation. Oh, wow. Okay, now let's knock the ball out of the park against all the weird naysayers that hate to come up against me. Here we go. Ready? Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid for the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Ready? Behold, God. Look at the word God right here. I'm going to make it a unique color. Let's see. Let's make it. Let's make it. Is that too dark? That may be too dark. That's too dark. I don't want it to be that dark. Let's make it this color. And let me get rid of that. God is my salvation. You ready to freak out, folks? Y'all ready to just totally freak out? The Bible is solved. God, Hebrew word, 410. It's L, E-L. It's pronounced just like A-L-E. It's E-L. E-L. L. What does it mean? It means strength, mighty, the almighty God. See the almighty God? It doesn't say of the almighty. It is the almighty. And when you click on the root of it, it's properly strength. Hence, anything strong, a chief, politically also a ram, which is a sheep. So let's go back. L, the almighty God. The almighty God is my salvation. Yeshua. Oh my God. There it is. L, the Almighty God, is my Yeshua. You're looking at it, folks. 
victory, aid, deliverance, prosperity, welfare. I'm going to change these colors. I, I think I want bright, bright yellow. There we go. Yep. I'm going to get a bright, bright yellow. Yeshua. L. L is my Yeshua. See, I just used the Bible and proved it. What no one else has done here. Yell is my Yeshua. Yeshua. Salvation. Save. Saving. Welfare. I will trust and not be afraid for the Lord. Now look at the word Lord here. Yah. It's 3050. Yah Yehovah. Right here, folks. Yah Yehovah. The self-existent eternal Jehovah is my strength, my song. He has become my salvation, Yeshua. There it is. See it? Okay, now let me knock the ball out of the park. Ready? Let's kill it. Let's, let's slaughter the enemy with truth. Slaughter him with truth. The sign of Emmanuel. Moreover, the Lord spoke again unto Ahaz, saying, Ask thee a sign of the Lord thy God. It shall it either in depth or in the height above. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, neither will I tempt the Lord. Oops. Did it again. Isaiah 7. Neither will I tempt the Lord. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. You shall call his name Emmanuel. See it? Emmanuel. I'm going to click on it. Emmanuel. And then I'll make that light green a different color. Emmanuel. I'll make the L light green right there. And the actual word, I'll make that part yellow just like that. And what does Imanu mean? With us is. That's what Imanu means. Imanu means with us is. And then L, the Almighty God. I'll color that part green. With us is L, the Almighty God. See? It's a conjunction of two words. Imanu, it's with us is. And then Hebrew word 410, nobody, and I mean nobody, can argue what's just been shown to you. El, the Almighty God. So now, surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, the self-existent eternal Jehovah that bought back your soul. So how do you see everything? You just turn everything upside down, guys. That's it. That's all you got to do. And you'll see that, oh my God, there's a whole nother world here. Yeah, it's right in front of your face. It's just upside down. And they hide dead sheep in it, the devil, all kinds of stuff. Let me give you an example. Okay, y'all remember I told you the night I got saved, 100% nylon. That's the very first thing the Lord ever told me to do was... Read the tags and the clothes I was carrying. Now, does it make total sense? It's like impossible to argue. It said 100% nylon. I went, 100% nylon? What? <laughs> and the Lord said, turn it upside down. And I turned it upside down. I said, 100%. And the Lord said, turn it upside down. And I turned the word nylon upside down. Say the word nylon upside down. No lion. And I then I said, 100% no lion? Like, no, don't you be lying to me, boy. And that's when the Lord just lit up my body. And so here's an image of the virgin right here. Turn it upside down. It's a dead sheep. There's the eye. There's the eye, nostril, nostril, lip. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Why is the virgin a dead sheep? Somebody tell me. That's what killed every sheep from the beginning of the world to the end. That's why. It's a it's a system that self-destructs. 
no matter what. Now do you all totally understand? Okay, now, I told you I was going to give you the meat of the word. Okay, now, I can go through and just do this all day long, guys. I can cross-reference and just show you El, the Almighty God, Emmanuel, with us is El. Uh, Elohim is not, is not El. Now, I'm going to play that little clip of that guy that was, you know, regressed. Remember the guy Elohim? He's like under hypnosis and they're like, who are you? The Elohim. And the guy goes, alien? He goes, Elohim, we created you. We created your world. He's right. Totally. It says it in Genesis 1. Elohim said, let us create man in our vain show, representative figure, especially an idol. That's who created it. It says it. And here's some guy going, you know, and then it showed they regress him as a little kid and there's bugs. Well, that's because it is an insect race because the insect race that created the whole thing, the host body system is a phantom. It's inhabited by an angel demon system. And if you lose, you go to the pit. And what's in the pit? Locusts. And what do they eat? Uh, angels. Angels. Your soul. This is the mystery of everything. I mean, I've proven it over and over and over again. I've shown you all the data. And I don't think the enemy is long for wanting me to be up and around here. So now let me now let me just tell you guys what y'all need to do. Go back and look at my an older video. Watch this. Let me show you what to do. YouTube studio. Okay, so I'll go to my YouTube studio. I'll go to videos. I'll go to my last video. And then, you know, look. If there's, look, people are like, oh, click, you're not monetized. I'm not monetized. If I use anything that's copyrighted, the copyright owner is allowed to put commercials on my videos and they get whatever they get. I could care less. I got to use their, their material. So that's why there's commercials. So let me show you something. Watch this. Do this first. Uh, is Jonathan's videos posted someplace else? Has he put, look, where is Johnny? Is Johnny okay? Look, I haven't, a lot of it, I haven't been able to even uh, leave comments. Go down here. Jonathan, I hope you make another video. Johnny will be back tomorrow. Okay, look, watch this. Go back down. There's, there's, you can go there unless they're deleting them or something. Wow, that's crazy. It looks like they're deleting where I'm going. Oh my gosh. Let, let me see if this. Here you go. Watch this. That if you go here, the Vatican's a snake right here. So that was on June 2nd. So let me see. Who is the other name you mentioned? <laughs> William. Okay. If you go back to my old videos, the last video I posted, if you don't see me, and it says, where's Johnny? There'll be, there'll be places posted. This one's posted. Uh, let's see. Let's do it again. Watch this. All right. Got so sort by newest first. Go like that. Start scrolling down. Anybody seen Johnny? Uh, it's June 10th. Where is he? So see people are posting. Here's where you go. Here's where you go. Go there. And there's some uploads there. And so, you know, you can telling you what's going on. So you go here and you can see what was going on. And then you can find out. I have other links, other, other platforms, uh, Brighteon and BitChute. Okay. So anyway, so let me tell you what's happened. So one of my kids was in an accident as well, uh, almost severed his foot off. I went in for a CAT scan on my throat. I, I had something that was lodged. And uh, they, they, uh, they said to me, when they put me down on the thing, they said, uh, you need to close your eyes because the laser. And I was like, 
the laser and this guy goes, yeah, just close your eyes. It'll be fine. I got shot in the freaking eye with a laser and my field of vision. When I look my left eye, it, it looks like I'm looking through a free, a laser. I mean, there's like a fuzzy spot. I mean, I, I was like, they zapped my right eye. I'm not joking. I mean, my I've lost a tremendous amount. You can tell my right eye is laboring a little bit. It's it's it hurts. Anyway, so I've been struggling just to uh, you know, I've had some headaches and stuff, and just dealing with uh the insanity that someone would put me in a cat skin and not give me eye protection and say, oh yeah, just close your eyes. Like what the hell, dude? As soon as it was over, I walked out of the room. I'm like, dude, what in the world? And uh, yeah, I got shot in the eye with a freaking laser. So anyway, hopefully that'll get better. Now, here's the thing. I have some stuff. Um, I'm going to deliver some. I'm going to deliver some data videos, you know, some data information. Um, we're coming to what's called the Nexus. Y'all know what a Nexus is? A nexus. Let me let me open a folder here. Let me show you a nexus. Let's do this. Okay, let's open this folder. Okay, let me go back. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Okay, here we go. I want you to look right here. I'm not I don't I'm not going to enlarge it all the way cuz I want y'all to be able to see. Just kind of look at this. It's a it's a play on word and they made it look like N E X E S S. See it? Well, Nexus is really spelled N E X U S, but I read their language. It says Nexus. But see, what you're really seeing is a Nike. It's really a Nike thing. It's Nike S S. You see the isotoxyl stars? Isotoxyl. That's isotoxyl. Isotoxyl. And they it's a little play on words. It's Nexus. You see how the this Black Panther type thing is lightning like Satan. I beheld that Satan is lightning from heaven. So it's a little play on words. And I, I keep an eye on their clothing and what they do because they telegraph everything they do. So let me show you. So here's a guy in the ad that I got it says Nexus. And it looks like kind of like a BLM thing too. But let me just show you this. Nexus. Nexus means link, yoke, union, ligament. That's interesting because did you know in the Bible, all us angels that got ourselves in trouble, if you go down to the book of Jude and you look in Jude and it says, and let's see, here we go. And angels and the angels which kept not their first estate. The word estate, it means a commencement. See, the word estate means that's where we were born. You're born in heaven. You're not born here. A commencement, beginning, that kept not their first beginning. See, and angels that kept not their first beginning, but left their own habitation, habitation, house, residence. He has left... He hath reserved an everlasting, watch this, forward and backwards chains, ligaments of the body, shackle of a prisoner, like a yoke. See it? Ligament of the body or shackle of a prisoner, impediment, disability, bond. Okay, so look at the word nexus, link, yoke, ligament. Now watch this. Let me show you what the let me show you what the definition of nexus is. 
the central and most important point or place nexus. See, the enemy knows, and they telegraph it in their clothing. Even the shirt I'm wearing. By the way, uh, someone sent me this cross. It's a nail, and it says Jesus, and thank you so much. It's very cool. Um, nexus is the point where everything happens. It's like where the X crosses. It's like right when the X gets that point and crosses the nexus, the point at which it all goes down. It's here, guys. So anyway, I'm telling you, we are at the, the breaking point right now. We are at the point of everything just about to happen. And this information that I have and that the Lord's given me is, is the most valuable information in the world. You go, you know, if you want to see the truth, in this world, you have to invert the world and see it. Just like, you know, invert the virgin, man. You know, go into the grocery store. There's bags of chips now that has someone's face on it. And they'll have lines on the forehead. Just turn it over. The lines become the mouth. It becomes the devil. It'll become someone with closed eyes. There is a girl winking on a bag of chips. You turn it upside down. It's a, The girl winking becomes a dead sheep in the grocery store, for God's sakes. It's everywhere. Dead sheep all over the place. It's insane. We're the sheep, they're the dragons, they're the serpent. That's why in you know in this all this stuff I show you, like the Vatican, the Vatican is a serpent. The whole thing's a snake. Well, what's that snake got in its mouth? Well, let's see. The snake's got in its mouth a sheep. Let's see, where's my other folder? There we go. So you turn the virgin upside down, it's a dead sheep. Let's go to the Vatican. Let's just do it. I, I mean, every time we do this, we should look at that Vatican because that was one of the biggest revelations in the history of the world. There it is. You see the snake? And I'm going to take this sheep right here. Okay, you see that snake right there? This sheep right here that I'm, I'm hovering right by my picture. You see that sheep? That's in the mouth of the snake. That's what the snake's eating. What is that whole thing become? the female reproductive system. Genesis 1, let us create man in our image. Male and female, what's, what is that altar when it's right side up? It's a penis, male and female. Who? What are you looking at? The serpent. Who created it? The serpent race. It's a no-brainer. It doesn't even require intellectual thought. I'm showing it to everybody. This is the most supernatural delivery of ass-whooping ever. I mean, look at this. Look at what you're looking at. See the upside down cross at the keyhole? It's a serpent. Who's the cross? We are. We're being crucified upside down. Okay, so here's that sheep. See the sheep? There's the window. That's the mouth of the snake on the outside of the building right there. So let's do the parts. Here's an anatomical drawing of a penis. There it is. So, what's that? What's that tarot card? Uh huh. What's the tarot card again? Uh huh. It's male and female. So, let's do it. So, what's that dead sheep? Male. And what happens when you turn that whole thing upside down right here? It be male and female. What did it say in Genesis? Ready? Let's go back to Genesis. Genesis 2. And the Lord God, this man should not be alone. I will make him a help and meet for him a front, a part opposite the other side. See, the whole system, in order for any of us to even exist, there has to be the opposite. Do you understand now? It's, it's a, there can't be one without the other. But then the Lord's willing to buy us all out of this system that he created, that he's willing to suffer for. Think about that. Think about how much God loves you. You're part of him. Do you understand? You're part of an eternal everything. Mind blower. 
Okay. Anyway, I highly suggest people get these folders, you know, the show notes, and go over them yourself. I mean, this stuff is pure gold. Why do you think the hieroglyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti, the whole thing's a face? You see the face? It's also the female reproductive system. It's also a dead sheep when you turn the Nefertiti upside down. It's a dead sheep. I mean, this does not take any intellectual thought. I have put together the pieces. The Lord has used me to solve the riddle of everything. All glory to God. I'm just uh, can take a long extended ass whooping. That's <laughs> all that proves. It's like I'm good at taking a beating. Anyway, yeah. All glory to God. All right, I love you guys. All right, next video I have my bear out here. His purpose was to make one, one new man from the two that were. The angel's caught in the flesh, but I'll turn that angel right side up and he'll get saved. His purpose was to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. That's how you know that you know him, because you've been inverted. What's that song by the Beatles? You were inverted, you were perverted too. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like, come on, guys, help me out here. It's like, it's so obvious now. It's a joke. Go listen to most music now. It's just, it's everywhere. When it's everything, it becomes nothing. That's why it's so, see, you're asleep. But once you wake up, you're no longer asleep. This is what waking up is. When you get turned up, you wake up. Get it? Wake up. Because you were stupefied. You were stunned with sleep and death. And then you wake up and you're like, oh my God, I can see. Oh, you're born again. You can see the kingdom of God. It's like, whoa, what the hell's going on? Whoa, crazy. And then all of a sudden you're like saying, oh, wow, now I'm saved. Woo. Oh no, they hate me. <laughs> then it's like, whoa. hey, all you guys used to like me. Now nobody seems to like me. What's going on? That's what happened to me. I was like, this is so weird. <laughs> like so bizarre i wasn't going hey jesus to anybody i'm like check out this dead sheep what's going on and i mean you know hey why are these bombings printed on the money <laughs> it's like where are they going <laughs> it's like what the hell man uh, i like, can't show you other... why are the twin towers bombing on the money <laughs> there they go it's like what what's going on doesn't make any sense because see they're still hiding from god they're hiding from him, just like Adam and Eve were hiding in the garden. They're like, oh, we don't want to get caught. Just freaking admit. Say, I don't mind getting caught. I want to be caught. I'm caught. I'm done. I, I give up. Caught. I give up. That's what you got to do. In order to win this thing, you got to give up. It's like the weirdest thing ever, right? Whoever tries to save his life will lose it. But when you give up, and you're like, I give up. That's it. I'm guilty as charged. I deserve my punishment. You give up. You admit your guilt. Then you win. Everyone's so busy trying to cover up their crap. <laughs> Boy. Yeah. Anyway, don't get me started. All right. I love you guys. I'm sorry I've been gone so long. It's been rough, man. I've had a rough couple weeks. Okay, I've had enough. Okay, maybe one more. <laughs> it's just like... All right, guys. Uh, I'll post the other links, the Brighteon, the Bitchute. I posted these before. Y'all need to copy paste them to something on your desktop or somewhere. But I posted the Brighteon, Bitchute, and all those links before. Someone else, do me a favor. Just help me out a little bit. People just start posting all that stuff in the comment section so everybody can get it. And if for some reason you don't see me and it's like, oh my God, they just kicked Johnny off YouTube. Well, you should already have all the other spots to go look. Or, you know, some people can have me as their guest on YouTube on their channel and then you could maybe see me over there <laughs> okay i love you guys <laughs> all right guys peace and grace my brothers and sisters jesus is coming Woohoo! i guarantee it i'm an end of the world harbinger i'm like noah i'm like the, i'm like noah but i don't know if noah was as cool as me 
<laughs> just kidding. Noah, God bless his heart. Can you imagine how hard it was to be Noah? Can you imagine? He was like, oh, God, no more wood. <laughs> it's like, I can't carry one more piece of wood. I would have freaked out. <laughs> it's like, oh, my God. Yeah, anyway. All right. Anyway, the end of the world's coming. I'm the before the fire coming. Thank God I don't have to carry a bunch of wood. Anyway, Noah, God bless you, brother. Thank you for what you did. Um, but the Lord's coming to destroy this place with fire. I'm the before the fire guy. You know, the V for vengeance guy. You know, think about it. I mean, think about V for vengeance with a parachute with a big red X from a right side up, upside down V. Just think about that. Do you know how crazy that is? It's cool, but it's crazy. I mean, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> it's like insane. It's like, <sighs> okay. Anyway, now, thank you for the cards. I love you guys, man. Thank you for the support. Thank you for constantly being there for me, man. I'm just like, thank you for the pictures. You know, when you send a picture of you and your wife and, you know, or you and your kid or, you know, grandma and, you know, son or grandma and grandson and, you know, mom and daughter or daughter, you know, just, it, yes, I get to see you. You know, I'm here all the time, you know, and I and when I get to see pictures of you, I'm like, yes, it, it helps me connect. You know, I don't get to see all spaces. And I, I really enjoy getting to see faces, man. Uh, by the way, thanks for the V sandals, guys. Uh, the Vikings. <laughs> you guys are a crack up. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. All right. Anyway, I love you guys. My eye's starting to burn. My my right eye that got laser zapped. Anyway, I'll, I'll try and be here every day if I can. I'll, I'll, I'll make a concerted effort to be here as much as possible now that I'm back on, I'll try and ch -ch -ch -ch. and then I have a video that the boss told me I have to do, and and I'll let you know right before I do it. And I think it's, it, I'm sure it has a very high potential of getting me, you know, out of there. But he told me I have to do it. It's kind of like Moses going to uh, Pharaoh saying, "Hey, let my people go." You know, he's gonna say no, right? I mean. Anyway, so I got one of those kind of deals the Lord's conveyed to me. I got to do it. And I'm like, you want me to what? A long time ago, he told me I did the serpent. Okay, quick testimony. Okay, let's hang out. So check this out. So I did this video, a DVD. It's called The Serpent Exposed. It's when the Lord showed me the Vatican was a snake. I was like, what the hell? You know, I'm on, I'm on Google Earth, right? I'm on Google Earth, and I'm sitting there just... I'm sitting there here. Take it out. Let me show you what I was looking at. So I was on Google Earth. There I was minding my own business. And I'm sitting there on Google Earth looking at this. So I'm I'm focusing on this this right here on Google Earth. And I'm looking at this keyhole and I'm looking at this upside down cross, right? But I was I was directly over the target. So, you know, I was looking straight down on it and it was this keyhole with an upside down cross and i'm just sitting there going like this is nuts the vatican is an upside down cross and i heard the lord clear as day say jonathan come in at a 45 degree angle so those of y'all that use google earth you know you can tilt like the satellite and come in and as i did i started rolling back and see so i'm rolling back right here and then i roll back further i'm like oh my god god it's a freaking snake wearing a crown well even crazier the building next to it is audience hall which is also a snake two snakes parthenogenesis can you say male and female serpent race uh-huh why do you think there's two snakes on vatican in in vatican city audience hall right there next to it is a snake there's a snake Male and female serpent race? Can you say male and female serpent race? Yeah. So anyway, the Lord shows me this thing's a snake. And of course, I remained very calm. <laughs> okay, not really. I freaked out. I'm kind of, I, I get excited. And so anyway, I freaked out. I was like, what the hell, man? And so then the Lord feeds me all this info. And then I put together this DVD. 
And then I hear the Lord tell me, I want you to send it to the Pope. And I'm like, what? You want me to send the Pope my new Serpent Exposed DVD? I'm like, are you kidding? I mean, I don't think he's going to like it. I mean, all I hear, I quick, you know, vision into Jonathan Kleck's head. Here's what I picture in my mind. I picture a guy like opening these big doors, running into the Pope. And he's like, Senora, we got a problem. Yeah, we got a guy in San Antonio, Jonathan Clack. Yeah, yeah, he, he sent us this DVD. They know it's a snake. We got some boys in San Antonio. I'm like, I'm like, hey, you got, you got, you got a crew in San Antonio? Yeah, we got a problem. I'm like, okay, this ought to be good. You know, I'll probably get to see a hit squad. Vatican hit squad. Uh, anyway, I was like, okay, are you sure you really want me to send the Pope a DVD? So I tried to get out of it. You know, and when people go, oh, I can't believe Clark. I hear people say, oh, I, like I've told the Lord, no. I'm like, there's no way I can do that. And people are like, oh, how dare you? Do you not think God, you know, I mean, really, what about Jonah? I'm like, uh, he's like, yeah, I'll go to Nineveh. Instead, I think I'll get on this boat and go this way. <laughs> it's like, dude, everybody says, oh, yeah, sure you said no. I've said no several times to him, and he's, like, convinced me otherwise. He has a way of doing that. And so I'm sitting there going, like, you want me to send the the Pope, the Serpent Exposed DVD? They're going to send a freaking hit squad, dude. I was like, obviously, you don't have much more of a ministry plan for it. So I was just like, whatever. And so my way to get out of it, this is this is the way I thought I would get out of it. So anyway, I'm like, I go, okay. All right, you're the almighty God, right? You made everything. You made heaven and earth and everything in it. So, I mean, I know you did. So I'm just saying, I just want to make sure I got this right. You know, how do I send the Pope a DVD? And I heard the Lord say, go online, look it up. And I go online, I'm like, I type in, how do you send the Pope a DVD? How do you send something to the Pope? And it says, you have to send it to the conclave of cardinals. So you send it addressed to the Pope, and you send it to the conclave of cardinals in Vatican City. And I'm like, so now I have a way to send it. And so then, then I say, I say, okay, okay, okay. I said, okay, so you created everything. You're the eternal God. And... You made everything. And I said, maybe I'm hearing things. Maybe I'm just not getting this right. Maybe because I really didn't want to do it. And I said, so I'm just, you know, so if you really want me and I got this right for sure, then there is a thesaurus on my table. I said, then there's no way. I mean, I would have to open up this book. I would have to open it up. If you really want me to send the Serpent Exposed DVD to the Pope, then you're the almighty God. Then that means I would have to open up this book right now. And somehow on the, on, on the page I open up to somehow you'll convey to me that I have to send him the DVD. I mean, that's just a no brainer, right? I mean, you created everything. I mean, and I was thinking I was going to get out of it. And so I open up this book and it said conclave. I was like, ah, Oh my God. And so, yeah. And so I was like, oh, no. I was like, okay. And so I did. I, I sent the Pope uh, the Serpent Exposed DVD. Two weeks later, he was indicted by, and I it was an indictment. I told him, I wrote a letter. I'm like, I am sending you this. I serve the Lord God, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. I am your indictment. That's what I wrote. I wrote, I am your indictment. You have been indicted by the Lord God. I'm looking right right at you. That's what I did. The story I just told you, I couldn't tell you that story. And no one could tell you that story unless it was true. And so anyway, so I sent him the DVD. I tell him, hey, I'm the indictment. Here you go. I know it's a snake. And then I'm just going to wait for the hit squad. Cool. <laughs> and and uh, two weeks later, he was indicted. The Pope was indicted by Belgium, the country of Belgium. They indicted him, but, you know, the Vatican, they're like, we don't recognize your your indictment. You know, we're our own sovereign country. And, of course, you know, they made it go away. But 
Two weeks later in the news, he was indicted by Belgium. So I've got one of those type things that he has me doing right now. I'm just like, you want me to wait? Okay, so I'll do it. He knows I'll do it. He knows I like to do it, really. Now I do. It's been a little edgy. Anyway, okay, here's another thing. There's people that have sent me stuff in the mail. Oh, thank God's told me I'm supposed to come see you, and you're supposed to let me in. And it's like, shut up. <laughs> it's like, dude, dude, shut up. No, wrong. He did not. <laughs> okay, it's like he told me I will send no one. So one of us is wrong. Either the guy that just exposed all this stuff, me, or you. And so the answer is you. You're wrong. No one show up at my house. You will not be well received. I guarantee it. It'll be a bad day for you. So anyway, so yeah, don't do it. I, I hate it when I get stuff like that. It's so annoying. The Lord God has told me I'm supposed to come see you and hang out with you. And it's like, no, he didn't. That's absurd. Anyway, don't try and invite yourself, anyone. Anyway, yeah, I'm a little too overloaded anyway. And so it's just not something that's proper and you're supposed to do unto others. Okay, got that out. All right, guys. I love you in Christ. Jesus is coming. Be at peace. That's his goal is to for you to be at peace. We can face the future, which is, by the way, horrifying, with total peace. The king's coming. The church is leaving before the great horror. That would be the church of Philadelphia. And the church of Philadelphia has the key of David. Go read Revelation 3, a letter to the angel of the Church of Philadelphia. Just read it. Just read it. And then go read Revelation 21. The new Jerusalem comes down out of heaven adorned like a bride. Okay? All right, don't be afraid. There's nothing to be afraid of. They need to be afraid because we serve the mighty, we serve the King of Kings, the self-existing eternal Jehovah. That's who we serve. This Elohim thing, let's take a look at those guys real quick. Let's take a look at that. Let's see. These guys. Let me see about dragging this thing here. Let's see. I want to get to the part. Here we go. Right here. All right. Let's do this. Resemblance. Hence, a representative figure, especially an idol. Bane show. Who are you? The alien. Alien. Elohim. We are the original maker. Genesis 1. We're the maker of worlds. Make worlds with love. You made the people. You are our children. What do you look like? You would find it hard to look upon my face. Why? Very different. Pretty? Or not so pretty? We think we are, but you probably would think not. We yeah. made you in our image. Elohim created man in his own image. Okay, that's why Lady Gaga wears a dress with a serpent and a bug. The serpent race, above ground host body system, feeds the race of bugs in the pit. Angels, they get caught in the system. I've shown it to you over and over and over. I proved it. The Lord let me prove it. The most unsearchable truth there is. The Lord let me prove it. Okay. Now. 
I'm living in Christ. Thanks for letting me like get it out. It's good to be back. It's good to hang out with you guys. So again, um, I'll give you a heads up before I have to do that video that might get me out of here. So, but like I said, you can go find me. I'm out there. Go find me. Just go look. Anyway, um, and just go read. You know, get a get. You know that other channel that popped up here just a little while ago. Why don't you go subscribe over there? <laughs> and Brighteon and all those other places. Whoever y'all have those links, okay, for those of y'all, that please help me out in the comment section. Just start posting those other links, would you guys, so people know where to go. Brighteon, BitChute, and, you know, if I'm a guest on someone else's platform here, you know, you can post that too as well. All right. I love you guys. Peace and grace.